Dr. Carl. And Adam Spencer. Hey, how are you going, Sleek Geek types? Adam Spencer and Dr. Carl with you. It's coming up towards Christmas. Carl, how about a, spe- a Sleek Geek's Christmas special? I love Christmas because there's nothing wrong with having a holiday and a good time. And I'd like to point out right at the beginning, let's make this clear, Santa is real. You got that? Santa is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, Santa's real. Never suggested otherwise. Scientifically proven. In all the peer-reviewed literature, the references to him imply that he has to be real. He is real. Kids, Santa is real. Okay. Just thought we'd get that out there first. The Sleek Geeks Christmas podcast is brought to you by the number... 78 from my big book of numbers. 78. You'll struggle. Twice 39. That's true. Prime number. No, it's not. 39 is three, lots of 13. Oh, oh, okay. So it's six lots of 13. I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Five gold rings. um, Bunch of days after Christmas thingy. Mm hmm. Okay. How do I get 78 from the. Oh, add up the total number of. Gift? There you go. Yeah. If I was to give someone 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a-leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a-milking, 7 swans a-swimming, 6 geese a-laying, 5 gold rings, 4 calling birds, 3 French hens, 2 turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree, I'd have given them 12 presents plus 11 plus 10 plus 9 plus 8 dot 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 oh. plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, 78 gifts. Hang on, are you saying that I don't have to go adding 1 plus 2 plus 3? There's a shortcut? There is indeed a shortcut. Now, strictly I'm saying the partridge and the pear tree are just contained as one gift there. We'll get Fair that. enough, yeah. Yeah, so those numbers, when you add up numbers like that, so uh, imagine the number 1 mm-hmm. as a single dot. Yep. Then let's add a 1 and put two dots beside it. They'd form a little sort of triangle, yeah? Yep. Then we could put a 1 and two dots and three dots beside that. Isn't this a handy graphic I've suddenly summoned up? One plus two plus three is six, and that'd again be a triangle, wouldn't it? A dot, then two dots, then three dots ah. beside that. One plus two plus three plus four is ten. These are called the triangular numbers. Ah. One, three, six, ten, fifteen. Twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-five. 66, 78. Did you work them out or did you remember them? I was working them out because I was adding adding four, then adding five, then adding six, then adding... I'm a, I'm a nerd, but I don't my, know my triangular numbers off my heart, Carl. Oh, come on. Please. Uh, so, so it's like a triangle that keeps on increasing in size at the base? Yes. And so the way that you work out the formula for the triangular numbers, the nth, nth. triangular number, so triangular number N mm-hmm. is equal to N times N minus 1 mm-hmm. divided by 2. This is a formula. So the fourth triangular number is, sorry, is N times N plus 1 divided by 2. So the fourth triangular number is 4 Time times five. 4 plus 1, which is 5, it's 20, divided by 2 gave us the 10. So the 12 blah, blah, blahs is the 12th triangular number. So that'd be 12, 12 times 13, 12 plus 1, all divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 13s are oh, 78. Six lots of 13. 78. Wow. There you go, your triangular. That you do it? That's your triangular numbers. Love the triangular numbers. Anyway. Hang on, but 6 is... A perfect number as well. Six is perfect and triangular. Is it, uh, is it allowed oh, under the Geneva Convention? Well, and well, 28 is perfect and triangular. No. Yeah. Are you, is, is that a coincidence? No, there's all these beautiful relationships between the yeah, triangular numbers and You're perfect numbers. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. We'll get there later. Wow. Or it's in my book. Well, what's the name of your book, Adam? Uh, Adam Spencer's Big Book of Numbers. Everything you want to know about the numbers 1 to 100. Let's talk the numbers of Christmas and the science of Christmas, Dr. Carl. Give me something Christmassy. Well, the thing about Christmas is, of course, Santa. Yes. Now, Santa has to visit a lot of kids. Mm. Mate, you do the... All the ones who've been good. Yes. And and in my experience, even some who've behaved pretty average end up up getting a gift. Yeah, that's right. I I think they should get a gift. He sets the bar very low, Santa, for good behaviour. Yeah. For mine. The thing is, there are so many kids that if you work out the mathematics of it, Mm -hmm. it turns out that he has to visit... A thousand children per second Mm -hmm. and travel at a speed from one child to the next at a thousand kilometres a second. 
1,000 kilometres a second. Not just 1,000 kilometres an hour, mm-hmm. which is your jetty type speed, mm-hmm. but 3,600 times faster. Now, I remember once in the old days when you could sit in the front of an aeroplane with the captain and co-pilot, yes. that they, was, they, they read out the air temperature and I said, well, hang on. You said the skin temperature is different, and the air temperature outside was minus 40. The skin temperature, I think, was minus 3. I said, how come it's so much hotter? And they said, because we're pushing through the air. There's a pressure effect. Uh huh. So in the same way, you know, when you pump up a bicycle with yes. a pump, yep. you know, when you compress the air, it gets hotter. Yep. Well, that's what's happening. You're compressing the air in front of the plane. The heated air gives some of its heat to the plane, so it heats up. Well, So if Santa is travelling at 1,000 kilometres a second, Second, that he's experiencing a fair degree of heat? Beyond fair. Absolutely enormous. Way beyond hydrogen bomb type energies. Okay. Enough to vaporise Santa, unless for the fact that he is protected by the magic of Santa. Yes, yes. This is real. Okay, great stuff. And 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 the the the, the, the G forces. Because he's got he's got to get up to a thousand kilometers a second. He's got to get up to that speed, then he's got to also slow down mm. to zero for a, a, some instantaneous amount of time in, while it deposits. Yeah, in half a thousand, in half a thousandth of a second, he has to get up to full speed, and then in another half a thousandth of a second, he has to slow down. Well, so would, would he, as as the elite pilot, say, be quote pulling a few G's? End quote. Uh, I think the the phrase that they use is turning into quote chunky red salsa. <laughs> <laughs> what? So what? Up, just quickly as a tangent. G forces. Yeah. What are G forces? What does it mean to experience G's? Um, that means that you would experience the same uh, feeling as if you lived on a planet where the mass was higher and therefore you would be pulled by gravity. So uh, you, when you're experiencing two Gs, you'd, your effective weight for the mythical 70-kilogram human, would your weight would be 140. And so if someone, for example, at a fairground goes on a ride where you go along and swing around a corner quickly, you do mm. feel that sort of pressure on you, don't you? Is yeah, that, that's the equivalent the of feeling G's? Uh, but they're, they're the kiddie G's. You and I had the full-grade industrial-grade G's when we were, went flying with the roulettes. Yes. And I remember getting up to four G's and thinking, this is serious because suddenly the mythical 70-kilogram body is 280 kilograms and you're having to breathe in. And I remember feeling on my legs the G suit compressing on my legs, forcing the blood up into my heart yeah, so that I wouldn't pass out. So the flying suit you see your Top Gun mm. types wearing as they go to like you and me. get into the plane, that, 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 was, was, that was squeezing on us? Yes, it was uh, fed with compressed air and it was squeezing, the firstly, the lower limbs, the lower leg, the middle leg, the upper leg, and pushing the blood up into the chest cavity where it was then pushing, squeezing around our tummy to push it into the heart because otherwise the, the blood would pull in our lower limbs.